sire in a hair salon next to a pig farm and across the street from a Starbucks. Her early life was not an easy one, a never-ending melee of text messaging, trying on clothes and excited beaver chatter fairly nearly destroyed our turd fritter in the making, but it is, as they say, not the life that makes the man, but the man's rich father that spoils the man and buys him whatever the fuck he wants. <laughs> Nowadays, with the help of caretakers and facilities paid for with a generous grant from the Canada Council for the Arts, Justine has every possible amenity. Her diet consists of a strict regimen of dry macaroni and $9 martinis. Foodstuffs are delivered and administered by courteous and well-groomed attendants. <laughs> Feeding time can be a little messy, but rest assured that your tax dollars are well spent wiping various bits of crusted food and bodily fluids from Justine's jowls. <laughs> Tonight is a unique night in the life of Justine Lumberpond. Justine needs to perform for an audience, and she always needs musical accompaniment. So these have thoughtfully been provided. <laughs> this is new territory for Justine. She's never played a musical instrument before. She can sing, but has never sang a song. <laughs> Let's listen in. Take on a more forceful tone as they try to assert their dominance over Miss Lumberpond. <laughs> 